just like we did with addition today with subtraction i'm going to show you uh, how what you learned in third grade with the base 10 blocks relates to what we're going to be learning with subtracting within um a million in fourth grade on the place value chart and using standard algorithm so i hope you enjoy this video all right in fourth in third grade, I know that you learned to use base 10 blocks to solve subtraction problems. So I have our base 10 system set up, set up here, and I also have the place value chart that we've been using in fourth grade and standard algorithm. So when we start a subtraction problem, we know that we must read it. 4,607 minus 1,946. So I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000s, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So there's 4,600 and seven ones. Okay. And over here we also have 4,600, seven ones. We're going to be taking away 1,946. So we start in the ones place. We have seven ones. Can we take away six ones? Yes, we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have one, one left. Oopsies. Over here, I can do the same thing. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. And we have one, one left. Now, I'm going to the tens. Now I'm taking away four tens, but I have no tens to take away. So I must remember that I have to get a hundred and regroup it into 10 tens. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. So I'm gonna take my one of my hundreds and regroup it into 10 tens. What that looks like when we regroup in standard algorithm is I take, we had six hundreds, I take one of them and I break it down into 10 tens. Now I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 left. With my 10 tens, I can now subtract four tens. One ten, two ten, three ten, four tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens left. So six tens left. Over here in our place value chart, I can do the same thing. I had six hundred, I had zero tens. In order to take away four, I have to come and regroup one of my hundreds into 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 tens. Now that I have 10 tens, I can take away four tens. One, two, three, four tens. And I have six tens left. Because I took away this t t 100, I now have five hundreds remaining. In the hundreds, we cannot take away nine hundreds. So I have to look and say, okay, well, I can regroup from the thousands. So from the thousands, I'm going to take my thousand and break it down into ten hundreds. Hopefully you can see that. So now that... I have taken one of my thousands and I have broken it down into ten hundreds. That means that now in our hundreds place we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hundreds left. 10 and 5 is 15. I have three thousands remaining and I can subtract my hundreds. 15 
minus 9 is 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hundreds that we're taking away. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 left. Over here in the place value chart, we can do the same thing. We're, we cannot subtract 5 hundreds minus nine. I can't cross out nine because there are not nine here. So I must regroup. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. That's how we got our thousand regrouped. Now I can take away nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. Because I regrouped from the thousands, there are now three thousands left. One, two, three thousands. And I regrouped ten more over here, making it fifteen minus nine. If we have three thousands, we can easily take away one thousand, leaving us with two thousands. Three thousand minus one thousand is two thousand. We can always check our work by taking our answer in this case, 2,661 plus the number that we subtracted, 1,946. And our goal is our answer, if we did, if we subtracted correctly, should be the original number that we started with. So 1 plus 6 is 7, 6 plus 4 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 6 more is 16. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. 4,600 0 tens and 7 ones is what we started with. So we did our math correctly.